Is this in poor taste? Probably. Do I care? Most definitely. Get Down Mr. President takes place in a hypothetical world where a deranged schizophrenic with no federal involvement can walk up to a president and just rain down iron on them. Mag dump the most important man, complimentary, on the planet. Now of course this is pure fiction and the world's biggest superpower wouldn't have a whopping zero security especially after four previous successful presidential whoopsies. So in this ridiculous situation, President Rump is executed. Luckily, you, Guy Man, have the monkey's paw of time travel. However, deals with the devil, also known as federal agencies, don't work out too well, and you are an unimportant meat sack who upon death will be sadistically celebrated by a man who gets cooked by sandy dicked Arabs, and then falsely mourned by paedophiles who rushed out a video to monetize the situation. Look at that paedophile succulent nipples. In short, Yahweh damn, you got fucked my man. Accidentally murked in a ploy to kill someone else, then mourned and shit on by nonces. That's fucking brutal. Little update, the also holier than thou Twitter people also call the guy who died shielding his wife and child from an active shooter a racist because of tweets. His body's not even buried. But of course this was purely hypothetical, so the young meat sack being sacrificed for an 80 year old morbidly obese man who will definitely live 4 more years is you. Perish brokey, you should have been born better. Unbelievable. Genetic skill issue. But to derail again before the video game on this video game channel, this nigga's ugly as sin, and how are American leftists so mentally handicapped they convince themselves a nigga who tried to murder Trump supports Trump? Purely hypothetical, of course. Now, video game. This game is much more than normie slop YouTuber content for approximately one day, where the tiny hat controlled milk fed gimp says nothing insightful or funny. I genuinely want to beat this guy over the head with a mallet. This is documentation of the dev gradually sinking down the TDS pipeline, starting with tongue-in-cheek jokes, then delving into, I just hate this guy, and here are some Twitter arguments. The beginning is just Trump. The universe starts with Trump. Trump is at a rally, and Lamau, he shot funny. Some mildly edgy shit posts. Then it goes to, I'm actually trying to say something, but it's a funny meme game so it kinda falls flat, then devolves into, he racist, and finally reaches the dev scribbling his insane horrifically wrong predictions all over the map that he is apparently quite fond of. These prediction skills really, really doing well eh lad. NIGGER! For those who think, I'm truly the autist, and it's all memes, you have correct. I have a sense for this shit. As the supreme autist in chief, I checked the true and honest gospel, the funny blue bird app, and found a litany of retardation. But most retarded of all, the cream of the cripple, this. This retard, with a hundred followers, tried to mass flag the president. What a fucking spastic. You see, there is a magic to I hate this person comedy. You need to not really care about the person, so you aren't just autistically spurging into the void. With the exception of apricot fruit. I fucking hate this bitch. For real? For real. And I will commit actions. Actions such as funny amort kick her like our bold suit wearing lad is capable of. Since the dev had a bunch of storyboard animations, so just thought, fuck it, threw them on random inputs and said, that's a good dev day. There's about 20 of these and two of them are useful. <coughs> Anywho's, there isn't actually much to say about this game. It's just an unironic reddit user spurging about the bad orange man for two hours with nothing interesting or funny to say. There's five wrestling levels for some reason and you get a look at an infinitely more interesting 
actually edgy game at the end. In short, the dev is an Omega Homo. This image proves Trump is God. I'm going back to Elden Ring. You're going to be so proud of your country if I get in. You're going to be so proud of your president, and I don't care about that. But you are going to be so proud of your country because we're going to turn it around and we're going to start winning again. We're going to win so much. We're going to win at every level. We're going to win economically. We're going to win with the economy. We're going to win with military. We're going to win with health care and for our veterans. We're going to win with every single facet. We're going to win so much. You may even get tired of winning and you'll say, please, please, it's too much winning. We can't take it anymore. Mr. President, it's too much. And I'll say, no, it isn't. We have to keep winning. We have to win more. We're going to win more. We're going to win so much. Nika.